say, you feel me? Um, if y'all seen it on IG, at Whips with Wavy, you already know I got the new pen to put on the boy, you feel me? Five all the way around, baby, so. It's looking good. Shout out to my people over at Spades. It looks amazing. But one of the things that's irking me is them wheels. If y'all know them early episodes, I went ahead and plastic dip. I went ahead and plastic dipped the rims. And um, they just ain't been holding up how I like. You feel me? I drive kind of crazy. So it's been like kind of tearing around the edges and shit like that. And just from cleaning them all the time over time, it's just like it's kind of wearing down. So I'm about to go ahead. We're going to shoot over to my boy S. Bulled up Jesse's garage. And we gonna get these wheels fixed, man. So, give y'all one more look at Celine. Look at her. Yes, yeah, sir. But let's not waste no time, man. Let's get over here, catch the day while it's nice and beautiful. Cause you know we don't get too many of them in Cincinnati. So, I'm gone. Here. Done made it all the way over to my homeboy Jesse's spot. Follow him on the gram at Spooled Up Jesse. You can see a whole bunch of crazy shit like this. The Dotson he putting together. Y'all don't know, I don't know a whole bunch of technological terms and all that shit. You want to explain what's going on in, in here? Oh, um, yeah. So we just got us a little baby, a little baby 5.3 liter. Uh, this is out of a Yukon. And we refreshed the bottom end, put a cam in it. Uh, it's got dual springs, uh, a trunnion upgrade and stuff like that. So it can rev out. Um, got the Brian tool read intake. And then we got this uh, precision turbo that we're gonna slap on there and make somewhere around 700 horsepower. Pushing uh, a TR6060 out of a 2011 Camaro SS behind it. So it's set up to go fast. That's the goal. Um, he just said a whole lot and all I understood was fast. Yeah, dude. I'm trying to talk Wavy into putting a LS in that, in that Challenger out there, dude. We can do it. Maybe, 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 maybe. But how cheap? So, like, realistically, everybody's <laughs> gonna tell you, oh, it's so cheap to LS swap something. Um, realistically, um, could probably get the job done for, like, if you wanted just the LS, uh, probably get the job done for. Mind your business. Um, that's that's not the, too bad. That's with the not... trans and everything, too. That's not bad. Um, the trans is expensive bad. part. Um, That's doable. If you wanted boost, add probably another three grand to it. So we can get it done. Y'all gonna have to go in on the comments, like, share, and sub, and a, all that, of that. That, that also is a wavy <laughs> price. That's, that's not a price for everyone. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, that's remember a, that. That's a wavy price. Remember that. You heard the man. So don't be trying to come around here and getting them. No. Still we'll, give you good deals though if you want it done. Definitely come out to Cincinnati, like I said, always, man. Y'all know who to rock with. My peoples is always certified, ready to go, good people to work with. And beyond that, if they get your money, they're going to make sure you're taken care of. So we're going to go ahead and look at these wheels. I ain't even, uh, I ain't even take y'all outside yet. I kind of skipped through a whole bunch of shit. We was having fun already. So uh, hold on. Let me, let me show them some shit around here. So don't do what I do. <laughs> Not safe. Nope. Nope. your life, man. One piece of metal will ruin your life. Uh, we don't condone anything that's going on. But it's happening. Alright, man. So we're back to the OGs. About to put these in. A lot of y'all been asking about these. So what's going on is y'all know I plastic dip them. They're not coming out how I want them to at all, you feel me? And a lot of y'all know that I got these and put these together. I got all five of these wheels. So like three of them are the bronze color and then the other two are black. And then like you can see the, just the curving and all that. So I'm about to get these completely powder coated. So the OEM Hellcat boys is about to get powder coated. Y'all drop comments. Uh, let me know what color y'all think we should do. But those is gonna get powder coated. You can see though the whip looking good, man. So I'm gonna, um, like I said, I'm gonna get these powder coated, and then I'm gonna just paint these. The 
OG joints. Cause the tread on these boys immaculate anyways. I might as well smoke the fuck out of these for the one time. All right, so about to clean these boys off. We gonna get these boys ready, man. And, um, like I said, I'm about to powder coat these. So I'm not really too worried about doing nothing crazy with these. I'm about to just do a normal gloss black. So um, time lapse coming in three, two, All right, the last time last was trash, so we gonna try this again. All right, man, so it's done. They all clean now. So now the next up. Just gonna go ahead, get this paint on here. All right, so this is an easy coat, you feel me? They say you only need about five minutes in between coats. I got like three cans, so it says do four coats. So we just gonna put these on heavy thick. Like I said, cause these is just the, the factory boys anyways. I really don't give a damn about these. I just wanna ride something nice while I'm waiting on these to get powder coated, you feel me? So we gonna go ahead, uh, jump into another time lapse. What you did. As you can see, the wheels are all mashed up, ready to go. And a lot of people don't do this. I like to do it to add that extra little bit of cleanness, you know what I'm saying? And as you can see, the wheels is nice and clean, man. It's a couple little old spots, just because the car was a rental car before I, um, before I bought it. But that's why it was in such good condition, you feel me? It was making sure it was taken care of. I'm gonna take a credit card and just run along this line right inside of here. Make sure it's plushed all the way down. And then you're gonna be good to go. Here we go, man. These boys are looking rough. Put that like five person. Just hit them with the heat gun. Make sure they're chill. And we're gonna mount these boys up. Yeah, hey. So boom, now they done dry it out a little bit. You just wanna get you a box cutter, go around the edges, cut all the excess off. Be careful with that shit too, cause you know you ride against your tires. Don't be no demolish. 
just go ever so slightly around the edges. Between time, do hit that like button, subscribe, and do hit that bell. All the love you show goes a long way, so please, please tap in for your boy. So y'all can see it, man. What you think? Looking fresh, man. Looking hey. fresh. <laughs> it is. Came out decent. Look. Especially when we hit them center cap again. It'd be a right, I was going to say. Got a little close with the heat gun and low-key fried this one, but. Everything else looks pretty. These other ones is Gucci. And this center cap, that ain't going to take nothing but two seconds. Pop that out. Respray that. Like, and right back in. So like I said, man, I'm gonna uh, uh, let these dry for a couple more minutes. Then we gonna uh, we gonna go ahead and throw these boys on, man. So let's not waste no time. So one of the fucking lug nuts is gonna stop us from finishing this shit. So we're gonna have to postpone this shit and come back tomorrow. So uh, I guess we'll be back. <laughs> 